Happy Spookies, everybody. I'm back with a quick little video that I want to just go ahead and recommend this awesome movie that I saw on TV, and it's called Beyond the Gates. What if he's okay? What do you mean? I mean, not dead. If he's out there, it's not our problem anymore. Welcome, curious viewers. Now, directed by Jackson Stewart, the movie stars Chase Williamson as John, Barbara Crampton as Evelyn, Bree Grant as Margaret, and Justin Wellborn as Hank. Now, this movie is all about two estranged brothers. Unfortunately, they have to come back home because of their father's disappearance, therefore having to liquidate his entire video store. And as they're digging through the video store, they're finding all types of cool little stuff, you know, nostalgic things, they come across this VHS board game. If you're not familiar with these things, they are these sort of board games that you play alongside a VHS player. You pop it in and it tells you, you know, you know, instructions and things of that sort. There was this really popular one, I think it's called Nightmare or something like that, which they do mention in the movie. The game Nightmare, the game hosted by a video. The gatekeeper! To win, you must stop it. Roll the dice! The video board game Nightmare, the gatekeeper talks to you. He's turned as if it has. And you must answer him. Answer me! Yes, my gatekeeper. Go for it! But this board game happens to be called Beyond the Gates. And this game somehow is connected with the father's disappearance. So what do the boys decide to do? They go ahead and play the game. Welcome, curious viewers. We found this like weird, probably banned VCR game. It's like a, it's like a board game, you know, but you gotta watch it. Obtaining the four keys allows passage beyond the gates. Only there can your father's soul be saved. Did you just hear that? Where did you say you found this again? I really didn't know what to expect from this movie at all. I just randomly clicked on it and it blew my mind as to how much I just really enjoyed it. I'm not gonna sit here and say, whoa, this is a life-changing indie horror movie. Go watch it. You should go watch it. But the cool little throwback with the, you know, the VHS board games and some really neat practical effects. Um, they have some really cool set designs, but they do a lot with a small budget, to be honest. It just has some sort of like charm. Now, I'm, it's it's not a very exciting movie. And it takes, I would say, just a little bit just to kind of get going, just once they introduce the characters and once they start playing the game. But once that happens and they have to start, you know, you know, doing level one, doing level two and shit like that, it gets really good. It was awesome to see Barbara Crampton in this movie. She plays like this really cool character where she is like the host of the video game on the VHS. And she's got like this very elegant, but you know, you know, you, you ain't trying to fuck with her type of look and this movie also has a actor that i really enjoy as of recently is chase williamson i think i first recall seeing him in victor crowley and then recently he was in this found footage movie i watched called i blame society he's in a handful of things he's in this awesome anthology horror movie called scare package he's in this other movie by don coscarelli called john dies at the end which i still need to watch I also really enjoyed the story between the two brothers and their conclusion with what's going on with the dad. Um, it's a little emotional at times because they, you know, it's not a perfect family. They didn't have necessarily a perfect childhood. It opens up misleading you thinking that because it's showing like the family rolling up to the freaking video store and everybody's happy. And later on, we kind of just find out a little bit of backstory about the dad and how he was. Honestly, this feels like a sort of like Jumanji slash Zathora vibe but like in a horror setting. And with a bigger budget, I guarantee you this movie could have been absolutely phenomenal, but I still really fucking liked it. No, you know what? I actually loved it. And if I haven't mentioned it already, I can't recall this is streaming for free on Tubi. I'm gonna go ahead and shut up. I've just been rambling on too much. I just recorded a video before this one. I gotta get to work. Happy Spookies.